Hey yo together and very welcome to the Stock of Two Crazy Replays today with a TVT on Terraform Leather Edition. I know we had a lot of Terraform Leather Edition in the last couple of time, but hey, that's how it is. This map provides the most interesting games as it looks like, at least for me. So we have spawning in the right bottom position. It is the Red Terran Great Hoax. Hope that's pronounced correctly. And his opponent, me, is spawning in the left top position. It's the blue Terran Alex Usher. And oh boy, that game, I remember it very, very good. And I can tell you, it's awesome. Because we have 888 Reaper for Great Hawks. Great Hawks. I hope, uh, I really hope that's pronounced right. If not, then I just don't know how to pronounce this. It, is it Hawk? Ho Hawks? Ho hoax? I don't know. But he's going, the Red Terran, I would say, is going for the barracks right there. And there's the refinery. So we have 888 Reaper against Gas first build. <laughs> and that can be so difficult to defend. Uh, there were a couple of times where I wanted to rage quit. Not rage quit, but quit. Like, ah, uh, and just tap out. But hey, I'm so glad I didn't do it because then we wouldn't be able to see this awesome match. So the barracks will finish at 2.20, which is a good timing, I guess. And the Reaper should start at 2.30. And there we go, SCV scout, so no second barracks. But I guess we will see something else. Maybe he uses the SCV to buffer uh, for the Reaper to tank damage. Or he could throw down a bunker, so he goes in these... Ah. And O throws on a bunker, but I will scout that. Ooh, and what do we see here? Marine, a second barracks, very interesting, and a bunker myself. So the Reaper will be out right now. Ooh, that's not looking too good. The bunker halfway done. There's the Reaper. Ooh, and I get the SUV. That's huge, but he gets the SUV kill himself. So he needs to deal a lot of damage with that. Uh, gets a second SCV, that's good, because he's three worker behind already, because of his opening. Uh, but forcing a lot of missed mining time with pulling the SCVs. Ooh, careful there! Oh, uh, he trades as much as possible. That's really nice, because this Reaper can regenerate and the Marine cannot. So there's a safety bunker, but not really doing anything good here. I mean, I can fall back to that, but this is really helpful. And behind that, you see the factory. So still no orbital command for this guy, and he will be forced to cancel the bunkers or no high ground vision anymore for him. Uh, but there are two Reaper now against three Marines, which is okay. There's a factory for me as well, but I'm heavily supply cat. Uh, there we see supply depot call down, but this one is very vulnerable. If he could kill this, that would be huge. Needs to be a bit careful here with how he engages because. That could have been Bunker providing as well plus one range for all bio units, uh, ex uh, but not the SV. Uh, but still, here we have third Reaper on the way, and we see a tech lad and another Marine being produced. So, so far, 16 SVs against 14. Uh, yeah, Great Hawk's not in a too bad position, so he can follow up with that, and we see. Reactor factory, so maybe Widow Mines or Hellions. Reaper going in with the barracks as a as decoy. Really well done there and gets some kills there. So four worker killed in total and I'm losing a marine. That's not really good, but there's the Hellion. Ooh, kills another. Ah, oh, so close. So really well done. Uh, but can't produce any more Reaper with that now. But Double Helium production starts and behind that starport. So he's still on one base, but that's fine. I'm on one base as well. And supply wise, it's fairly even. He caught up uh, with the SUV con as well. There's a decoy barracks again. Will I fall for it? Who tries to to take down the Helium? Yeah, to focus it down, but so far, not gonna happen. Uh, we don't have Marauder on the way. I would love to see Marauder with concussive shells so that those Reaper would die if they get hit. But yeah, this barracks uh, is a bit hurt so far. And oh, two Hellions here. 
But there are drills for Great Hawks as well and will he lose? The Reaper, no, oh that was so close. Gets a Hellion, gets maybe both, that's so close. Uh, no, goes back, needs to regenerate on those Reaper which gives me a bit of time to yeah, get the Marauder out. But I'm supply kept again, as you can see. My multitasking, I, the dead push really threw me off like hard and you see this, this tech lab on the starport. Finally an expansion is going down. But it will be spotted and ooh this Hellion gets a good shot off and just one marine dies for one Hellion which is okay but there's the Hellion in exchange and so far if you look at the unit loss tab ooh this guy is doing really well there. Two Hellions, three marines and four and he's killed just for one Hellion and one SV himself that's really good damage there. And the decoy again but those marines not lining up as perfect as he would love to and loses a reaper, loses maybe a second one there yeah. And he's not focusing down the Hellions. Now getting good flash damage there. And uh, the second Hellion popping out there out of this factory. With the repair it's enough and he has to pull back. So it looks like it's defended. But behind that, what do we have? We have one Raven. Okay. And obviously a Viking. Ooh, he loses the Reaper there. So now it's just the Hellion. Uh, Hellion should be able to deal with the Marine. Yeah, I guess this marine will die most likely. Oh, poor little guy. Ha! <laughs> you see it in his death animation, he had the combat shield. But it's not even researched, that's funny. Uh, I guess he will lose the barracks now. Finally his expansion is going down himself. And a second factory. Before... Oh yeah, just before the ba barracks start to burn. He should maybe get a third one as well, if he can afford it. Uh, because he will lose the barracks. And we see Cloak Banji as his follow up. So he tries to put as much pressure on me as possible. And with five Hellions, he could do this. Ooh, just one Hellion here. And the Marauder. True, the Marauder is good, but is he good enough? Ah, doesn't get a kill there. And as you can see, Hellions are dealing a good amount of damage to this Marauder. So, yeah. And he got the Hellion, so. Not too bad. It looks like he tries to save the barracks, but without pulling an SUV, uh, SUV this won't happen. So the base is finished for me. But there's the Banshee. We will see how much damage this Banshee can deal, as we have no Viking for me yet. But uh, three additional barracks are coming down. So I would love to see me get a uh, Viking there. Just to deal with the Cloak Banshee. Uh, the Medivac sees it! Medivac spots it. Very good. And it looks like this medivac is for scouting purposes only. So there is indeed the banshee. And takes already a lot of damage. It's not good. Cloak not finished. And... Oh, Cloak takes five more seconds and he loses the banshee! Ah, that's unfortunate for him. But there's a second banshee and this time he got Cloak. Throws on a mule. Worker wise, he's far behind. Like seven worker. That's a lot. Uh, but those Hellions might get a lot of kills there. Ooh, the splits. Not the best one so far. Oh, I guess he will clear the entire mineral line without losing anything there. Nice little Widow Mine. I wonder what that killed. Ooh, so close. 6 HP. But gets out of there. And there's a Viking for this guy. So, now it's even. Now he's okay. Now he's in pretty damn good shape. It's okay. Uh, oh, a lot of idle SCVs here for me. That's not good. Bring them back to work. Alex Sasher. Missile turrets are coming down. Where's the Banji? Where's the Banji? There's the Banji. Cloak Banji. Sneaks in just before the turret finishes. Focuses down on the first SCV. Will focus down on the SCV producing the missile turret. Ah, uh, gets three kills so far. Maybe even five. Maybe that's close. Yeah, four kills. Five kills. Six kills! That's good, and now he's ahead and worker. Uh, this Banshee will most likely escape. Uh, the second Banshee! Oh! So close! Very close. Ah! Oh, dodges! Forces a scan! Nice! That Banshee was really good. Well and there's another Banshee up there here with the six kills. They move out, but there are tanks already in position and a bunch of Hellions. Uh, Stim is ready, but no combat shields. So that's not good for me either. 
I can maybe put a bit of a bit of pressure to Great Hawks there, but overall he got tanks, he got Vikings. He goes in need to be a bit careful there because tank fire is a bit strong. But oh two Vikings now. There's the PDD. Double PDD. That was a mistake because PDD is only lasts for 20 seconds now with the new patch, which is like three months old. So that was a waste of energy as this point defense drone did nothing. A bit unfortunate for him, but he's okay. Uh, he loses the gas finally there. He might lose a second one as well. Uh, can't really mind there. And now he might even lose the raven there. Uh, be careful, not lose the raven. Auto repair. No repair on this raven. So he loses the raven. Yeah, but he got two vikings on the way. So he will be able to deal with my viking count. And then, yeah, he's fine. Rallying across the map, but still no combat shields. And there's the Benji again, seeking for more kills. But this time we have turrets in the mineral line. Uh, third command center goes down for me as well as for Great Hawk. Income wise, he's looking better. At least with the worker. Oh, careful there, the Benji! Oh, and he delays the command center build there. Ah, the Wittermine! Oh, the Wittermine! That Wittermine! I love it. Very, very unique video mine placement there. But it paid off. Killed the Banshee. Uh, yeah, that's what's cool. So no Banshee harassment going on. So for oh double command center. Look at that. That's a bit ballsy. Mm, but I think to catch up, that's the thing to go. And I try to pressure. Maybe go for a drop, a big drop. But I only got two medivacs, which isn't providing too much. But I see there is no third base yet for him. And yeah, there is a tank in some marauder with this, so I can deal a bit of damage. We will see how much damage I can deal there. Maybe even lifting more units up here. I will get a refinery again, so this limits his gas count as well. Just a little bit. He even pulls the SUVs. Not sure why that is, as I'm not attacking them right now, but there he goes. And he might lose some Vikings there. Loses two Vikings, three Vikings, oh, four Vikings. That's not good for him. So the Viking count is lowered quite a bit. Mm, lost tab? Unit lost tab. Oh, it looks not too bad. He, lo he lost a lot of gas heavy units. So that's, that's the problem for him. Because he can't really replenish them. No. Ooh, there's a Hellion run by. How many guys? One kill, one kill, five kills. Not too bad actually. So worker. 39 against 47. 46, that's good. So now he transfers some worker into this refinery and he really should take a third base really soon as mine is already up and will run soon as well with the four orbital commands I get now. I can afford to go to the starport ASAP and with that I might even go for Raven or Benji and I think I can get more of an air dominance now. The only thing is my upgrades are quite bad. He got 1-1 one, one, and I'm just starting plus 1 attack for my bio. I also got no second eBay and I'm just producing 1 armory. Those marines spotting this movement. Very good. Uh, they killed 1 halberd, which is fair. He scans this army, he sees... Uh, no, no, maybe not. Also his vikings are outnumbered and they are damaged. So he can't go in there. And I still see... Uh, his base. Ooh, why is this marine going back? So, ha! Huh. Hellion seeking for any marine there to kill. Uh, yeah, and he pulls back. He could start to too soon if he is not producing that many gas heavy units like the tanks. Then he got the gas, or he waits a little bit until his gas geysers at the third base are finally up. 20 minutes base, a bit late, but. Uh, if you compare this to the start of the game, which was a really interesting start, then everything is fine. So there we see Raven, Viking, Viking. Uh, still no Cadius Reactor, as it is called, I think. And I'm quite heavily supply blocked. Uh, Greathawk's got a lot of minerals. He should start, yeah, first of the Missile Turret Ring, of course. And then maybe throw down to Command Center as well. I guess that would be nice. Okay. Very even, look at that, 132 against 132. APM, 
on average they are okay. Mm, income wise 53 against 51 harvesters which is okay. Let's have a look at the unit. There, there we go. How it's called? It's called the Corvid Reactor. Okay, Corvid Reactor. Uh, units tab, we got 5 Vikings against 7, 5 tanks against 13, and a bit of a bio force. But the most important thing would be the Vikings, because 4 tanks with bio is enough to zone out the tanks from just overwhelming the tanks I got. And with the greater Viking count, sure the upgrades are garbage for me. Uh, but I got the Vikings and the Rain with the PDD, so that might help. I like the sensor tools. I would love to see his tanks spread out a little bit and maybe some tools and supply depots as well. Maybe even a planetary fortress if you can afford. Not quite yet, but later on. Here we see the double star uh, command center. Very nice. And additional factories. Which is good. He needs that. He needs the production. Ah, fourth base going down. And as you can see, my vision is quite good. I see most of the pathways. I would love to have a marine right there as well. But unless that little spot where I would be vulnerable, I see everything. Like that, I see his movement and I can scan this army if I want to. Or I'll just send another marine, which is okay. And there I go, see it. And now I can unseage most of my tanks. Ooh, what's that? Looks like a drop is coming. Uh, he could have gone in there, there is not much to buffer. A couple of tanks, but not a whole lot. Uh, let's have an eye on this little force here. Because there are turrets, but with the raven, and that's the thing, if you're struggling against mech, you think like, man, I can't drop this guy, but guess what? Double raven PDD man, so strong, and you can drop him, and you can deal so much damage. And as most of his army is out of position, I might be able to deal real damage here. Uh, I also love this sensor turret, and getting some turrets myself would be nice against hell that drops. There we go! You see it, PDDs? They just get me enough time to make sure I can indeed drop everything. I'm sure I lose a medevac or two there, but the drop is real, I can clear most of those turrets, and go for the tanks, maybe the factories, and he puts everything back, which gives me time to behind, get more starports and go for a great, great air force. Maybe I should get more upgrades as well. So with that, I killed the factory. I might even kill the sensor turret. It's not burning down! No! Okay, but oh, look at that, those things. But yeah, I killed a lot and now it's open for another drop. So I should have attacked at the same, same time the third base. But I guess I'm okay now, and he scans for anything, doesn't find anything, so hmm. I would love to see a second, there, there are additional support. I really could need more armories, like one more armory, oh, the Vikings, and as you can see in the Viking count, 13 Vikings against 11, but I got the Seeker Missile or the PDD, so far I'm not using them for whatever reason, and all his Vikings died, why is that? I have no clue, it was not that close, to be honest, but I don't get it, it was like 13 vikings against 11. I guess most vikings killed my raven, which was the mistake here for him. Uh, but yeah, his upgrades are good, 2-2 against 0-1, and for bio it's 0-1 as well. Uh, I don't like the position of those tanks, because, oh, he goes in, scans there, but he will lose a lot of his force there, a lot of his army. A small flank there will get cleared, all those tanks go down. His tank out at 17, but I got no tanks at all. But if he moves in like that, I might be able to kite and kill a lot of Hellbats. There's a small force there down as well. And yeah, I'm just a bit annoying. Pulling back, trading here and there where I can. Go for the SUVs there. You're a bit annoying. Income wise, I'm on 56 SUVs against 41, which is. Not the best thing, but with the orbital commands I got, like four, four orbital commands, that's okay for the mules, but I need to be careful here. Oh, he's so clumped, he's a moving, he doesn't see anything. His tanks are sieging right now, Vikings landing, I don't like that either, but he doesn't see the bio. All his tanks might go down here, now he sees it, with the tanks moving into the bushes, but Ah, he loses all the tanks. Great flank from behind. The sandwich move kills everything and... Income-wise? 
it's even that army wise my army supplies are a bit higher. Sure the upgrades are just now kicking in and they are still not good but I got the Vikings and I got the starports. Now I'm producing finally add-ons here for to be able to get more Vikings and maybe Banshee as well. So here are the Vikings. Uh, I guess he will lose. Uh, no, he wins this fight. Okay, Raven have no energy for PDD so he's fine for now. And the Viking count is 4 to 6. He isn't chasing the Raven. He could do this. Uh, Vikings are a bit faster. I would love to see me doing another drop, but currently, yeah, I could. I got, I got everything. Ten Marauder, twelve Marines. Load it up, baby. Load it up and drop. And there's nothing protecting the third base. He got a lot of gas, so I'm wondering where is his transition into air? Because so far he's not doing it, and with that, I'm not quite sure. That's really weird. He should go for some air soon. Oh, look at all those moves. Wow. Yeah. He sees it with the Hellions. Oh, those Hellions could deal a lot of damage. Because the planetary takes 15 more seconds. Everything is out of position. That's not good for me. And he's producing barely anything. Although, he's like 90 supply from being maxed out. Which is not good. So the planetary finished. There is no range upgrade. Either the building upgrade. So, I guess I will land those Vikings here. A small force up there seeking for a next base to kill. Scans go down. Okay. But with the mules I should be fine. I'm on 46 SCVs only. Which is not really good. But I guess it's okay. I'm still on 4 orbital commands. So it is okay. I would love to have like 60 SCVs. First of all. If I have a bank then I can dump SCVs. Free supply. But, oh, additional factories. I'm not sure about this. He needs the Viking count stay up and high. And currently he's on 13 Vikings against 13 Vikings. Sure, his upgrades are better than mine, but I got 5 Raven with a lot of energy. Oh yeah, look at that energy. That's indeed a lot. And it looks like we might see an engagement there. Vikings, get the first volley off. That's huge. And there we see 2 PDDs, 3 PDDs. And some Seeker missiles. Will they connect? It looks like they will. All his Vikings go down. And with that he has no way. He needs to pull back. So production tab shows us more Vikings are coming for me. As well as for him. Uh, plus three finishes for him now. And for me as well soon. A good spread. I can't just move into those tanks. But the Raven got enough energy for some Seeker missiles. I could do this and clear a lot there. Oh, there's another raven. What will I do? It looks like we got a stormant here. As nothing is moving. Ah, there we go. Banshees. I'm waiting for the banshees because... Oh, maybe not. Going for the big flank. Dropping some auto turrets to buffer. Which is okay, I guess. But in the end, I would have loved to see Zika missiles going down. But... I cleared most of the tanks and... I guess that's okay so far. Uh, he pushes, no, scans, goes back. No, so he pushes, okay, decides to push. Marauder, they might deal some of, a bit of damage. There's the Banshee, and each shot deals 50 damage. You can see how fast those helmets are going down. And yeah, those tanks, look at that, they have no chance. There's nothing for them to defend. So, Greyhawks in a bit of trouble here. He's still just on one star, but there's finally the second one. But he would need to go for Raven. You can't stick to Marie, uh, to, to Viking, Hellbat, Tank only. And there we, see, there we see some Thor. And they are good at zoning and they are good against Benji as well. So, PDDs are good against Thor, but they the Thor drain a lot of energy quickly out of the PDDs because every Thor shoots four Javelin. Seeker missile stuff rockets. Oh, but that's not looking good here. There's nothing to defend the, the, the tanks. He loses all the Vikings. They are the Thor. They are not out yet. There they are coming. But so many Marauder. Ooh, big mana mule. Whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah, cloak not researched. He will be able to clear those tanks. Look at that. And yeah, Javelin missile launcher. Four attacks. 
deals 18 damage each and Banshees have zero armor so they take like 80 damage multiplied with 4 which is like 72 if I'm not mistaken. 72 damage, a Banshee has like 140 hit points so two volleys and they are dead. Bam! But here we see Battle Cruiser Operational. Battle Cruiser Operational. I'm not very good at this, but you get a point. Battle Cruiser are awesome. Uh, even though they would <laughs> yeah, benefit from the upgrades, from the armor upgrades, so they would have six armor, which would be better than just the basic three, but overall they're very good against Thor. So this, the Thor, he can't compete with the, against the Battle Cruiser, and he scans. And these, there's no way to win this anymore. Very interesting game I wanted to share because I wanted to show you first of all the PDD drop, which is super strong against mech. If there are no Vikings, of course. If there are like a bunch of Vikings patrolling, don't do this. It won't work. PDDs are good, but not that good against Vikings and turrets. And as well, I wanted to show you never give up. A crazy start can go into a very long macro game, Mac versus Biomac, uh, into air, which is really a good game. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I also hope you see us next time as always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.